Good day to all my students in Instrumentation and Control Laboratory. Today we are going to discuss our first experiment. Now our first experiment is the measurement of electric and magnetic quantities and analysis of measurement error. So we have here the objectives uh, to determine how to use the basic measuring instruments and to analyze measurement error. Now in this case, we will be using only the voltmeter as a measuring instrument because this is one of the measuring instruments for electric quantities, okay? So this experiment is really uploaded in our virtual classroom. So you read this one and we now go directly to our circuit diagram. So as you can see, our circuit diagram is very simple. We have here a variable DC source, zero to 30 volts and we are going to measure uh, the readings using a digital voltmeter. So as we all know, when we measure voltage, we, make, we measure across the component. Okay? So our procedures will be to, to generate seven readings uh, for the uh, for the power supply, so we'll be able to generate. Uh, we should generate seven readings from our power supply, and we will also tabulate it here, as well as the the, the readings of our voltmeter. We we'll tabulate it on the right side, and we will compare it later. Now, for our uh, computation for the error, we'll just subtract the voltmeter reading minus the power supply reading or whichever is bigger for as long as you do not generate a negative value. You just get the absolute value of the error. Okay? So you have here the questions. Okay? So you, you're going to answer only two questions. So let's now go to the simulation of our circuit diagram. If we are going to perform this physically, this is very easy. Okay? So uh, we'll now use uh, lab view to simulate our experiment. So this is now our digital power supply, which has its own display. And we will vary the knob in order to generate at least seven values. And the values will be displayed here. This is the power supply reading. This is the knob. And for the voltmeter, this is the corresponding reading. Okay? So we'll start our simulation. Okay? So we'll start our simulation. So our first reading will be this one. Okay? So our first reading is 2.49 volts. So as you can see, our voltmeter reading is intermittent. So you have 2.8, 2.6, then it will have multiple readings, but you, you will choose only one of these voltmeter reading for you to tabulate it in, in the table here. Okay, so the power supply reading is our expected value and we want to validate it using a voltmeter. So since our voltmeter reading is intermittent, and obviously it's not the same with our power supply reading, nonetheless, you choose one reading and tabulate it in the first row of the table. For our second reading, just vary it slightly. So we have 5.17 volts, and your voltmeter reading is 5.5, 5.2. Again, you choose whatever value you like here for our voltmeter reading okay our third reading is 8.71 volts our voltmeter reading is 8.9 uh, 8.7 uh, 9 volts so as you can see there is a difference between the power supply reading and the voltmeter reading our fourth 
uh, expected value will be 13.42 volts our voltmeter reading is 14 uh, we have also 13 so the reading varies okay so you just choose which of the uh, varied or variable reading you are going to tabulate in the table I think this is our uh, fourth 16.1 volt you have 16 uh, 19.05 volt so you have 20 uh, for our fifth reading just vary it slightly you have 22.29 volts I uh, have here our voltmeter reading our sixth reading is 25.91 volt you have here our voltmeter reading and for our final reading let's just choose the maximum the 30 volts and let us observe what will be our voltmeter reading so as you can see our voltmeter reading is uh, in some ways it is also varying okay so if it's equal to 30 then they are the same okay so what you're going to do is to to tabulate the power supply readings here on the left and the voltmeter readings on the right and compute for the error for each of the readings and you answer the following questions okay so that would be all for this video we will uh, be having our next video for the next experiment